Hi, I'm Stacey from the National Farmers Federation. Agriculture is a great industry to work in, but it can be dangerous. And farm machinery is one of the leading causes of injury or even death on Australian farms. However, there are four simple steps that you can take to better manage safety on your farm. Step one is identify the hazard. Step two, assess the risk. Step three, remove or control the risk. And step four, review or check your work. Today I'm at Oxton Park to talk to Peter about how he manages machinery risk on his farm. G'day Peter. Hi Stacey, welcome to Oxton Park. Thank you. On such a big farm you must have a lot of machinery. We certainly do Stacey. Lots of tractors and trucks and augers and all the things you need to run an 8,000 hectare property. We have one potential hazard over here, would you like to come and see it? Love to, let's check it out. So Peter, step one of making your farm safer is identifying hazards. What have we got here? Stacey, we have a, a PDO shaft which is one of the most dangerous things on a machine. Step two is assessing the risk. It's really easy to have your clothing or a hand caught in the PTO. What would happen if that occurred? Yes Stacey, you could, uh, you could get very badly injured or you could, uh, you could even get killed. Three is removing or controlling the risk. You could look at replacing the PTO with a motor or hydraulic drive, but if that's not a practical option, how can you control the risk? Yes, Stacey, we've, we've made sure we've got a guard on here, and we make sure the cover free wheels, and make sure that there is no damage to the cover. As you can see by this shaft over here, you can see that it's been damaged and the cover has come adrift from the um, shaft itself, so this cover will need replacing before next harvest. So Peter, what else do you do to control the risk? We make sure our employees are trained and competent in operating the machine and the implement, so they know about the dangers and how to operate them safely. Peter, we've been through step one, which is identify the hazard. Step two, assess the risk. Step three, remove or control the risk, which brings us to step four, review. So what can we do to check that what we've done is working? Well, Stacey, we can make sure the cover's in place, make sure that the cover free wheels, and make sure that there is no damage to the cover. And if we take a step back, we'll get the operator to start the machine, and we can check that everything's working properly. Righto. It's important to check what you've done to manage risk. You can use a simple checklist or perhaps you consider using a smartphone or another portable device to take photos and to make notes. And if ever you do have an incident, records help you demonstrate what you've done to keep people safe. Peter, thanks for showing us how you manage machinery safety on your farm. We're done for the day. Thanks Stacey, it's been great having you here today. It seems hard at first, but it becomes a mindset after a while, and farm safety is too important not to do. Thanks Peter. Thanks Stacey. For more information go to farmsafe.org.au